Global Sustainability and Healing, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 293. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 293, November 4th, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to create global sustainability using teacher demonstration, communities, villages, and cities to teach people how to live sustainably and to develop a global sustainable civilization for the highest good of all life and all people and all creatures on this planet, which ties in really well to today's topic, which is global sustainability and healing. I want to talk about global sustainability and healing, which isn't just for us about healing the planet. It's not just about regenerative living for the planet. It's about regenerative living for people as well. It's about global sustainability and healing humanity, healing people, providing enough abundance, providing enough for people so that they can heal that part within them that is limiting their ability to do what's right in the world, to help each other, to be able to literally live in integrity with their environment, with each other, in all aspects of our lives, lives, and to be able to take from that place, to, to go from that place and to give and to help. And this is what One Community is all about. And we're creating an evolution of sustainability. And everything that you see happening in the background of the video here is part of that. You know, we're designing seven different sustainable village models, which you can see here, as well as the duplicable city center, but also highest good food infrastructure, highest good energy infrastructure, highest good fulfilled living practices and social architecture, highest good economic models, for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as resource-based econ economy implementation, and also highest good education model, and true earth stewardship. Putting all these things together as a complete model and an evolution of sustainability that will provide everything that people need to feel complete, to feel whole, and we believe from that place to, if they choose, to be able to give and to share. And they're teacher demonstration hubs designed to help with that process. The seven different sustainable villages that you see happening here in the background can be built anywhere in the world, and the global sustainability and healing process can be launched from, from any one of those, and it can be experienced within any one of those. One community was started by me with the idea to create a place where people could come, they could learn, they could experience something unique, and be transformed. And then it evolved into a model with the idea that we could share it, that we can open source and free share this model so that people could come, they could experience everything that it is that we're creating, and then take what they like and replicate it. And from there, it evolved to the next level, which was, how can we create global change? How can we open source and free share this in such a way that we can transform the entire planet, that we can reach that tipping point of engagement, of mainstream involvement, such that we can positively and permanently impact the lives of everybody? on this planet. And so thus the self-replicating idea was born and its goal has always been global sustainability and healing. Healing of the individual, including myself, and then reaching out and healing local communities and then larger communities and then expanding globally and inviting anybody and everybody who wants to participate to do so in the way that works for them. It's all open source and free shared so that people with different ideas and different ways of doing it can do it differently if they like to. And our goal is to open source project launch blueprint everything that we're doing, which means we're not just open sourcing it saying, hey, take the information that we're creating and use it however you want. We're open sourcing it saying, hey, take the information that we're creating, use it however you want. And we are open sourcing every single step of our design process and teaching you how we are open sourcing things, meaning open sourcing the open source process itself so that it's easier than ever for people to launch additional new projects 
using what it is that we're creating and hopefully taking it in even better directions, creating even better things. And for those that want to open source what it is that they're doing using our models and, and want to collaborate and cooperate with us and are willing to do the extra work like we are to open source and free share their creations to be a part of the global sustainability and healing process, we're here to work in cooperation and collaboration. And so we're creating that foundation. We're creating that foundation of open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions covering all aspects of what we call highest good living. And that includes food, housing, energy, as I already said, education, social architecture, fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, the economic models, as well as the true stewardship, putting it all together as an evolution of sustainability. And if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, we believe that this idea will spread on its own because everything else in the world that is easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough does. And so we're building on principles that have already been proven around the world as individual components, and we're putting it together to create something absolutely transformational. And this is the foundations of sustainability and healing that we see as capable of changing the world for the better for everyone and everything living on this planet. And that's what I've dedicated my life to. That's what our team is all about. We are a 100% volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization. All the donations, everything that we get goes into forwarding our mission. None of that goes to my paycheck or the paycheck for anybody else on this team. We're a 100% volunteer organization creating this because we want to see a world that's sustainable and benefits everybody. We see a solution to global poverty. We see here a solution to homelessness. We see here a solution to the issue of so many people living without energy infrastructure. We see a solution for education that is better than the current education models that can be free shared and globally cooperative and collaborative. And we've created that. And so we are launching one community as a place that people will be able to come to, that people will be able to live in, people will be able to visit, and whatever people like, they will be able to take the blueprints, the tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions, and implement it as either individual components or as the complete model of a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub, purposed to teach and share what it is that we're creating and create even more teacher demonstration models, which is a self-replicating model, or designed for people just to create it for their own use, for people to be able to create an environment that's so abundant that provides everything that they need for their friends, their family, to come together, to live together in cooperation and collaboration, and whether or not they want to extend that to the outside world like we're doing is entirely up to the individual or up to the group. This is what we're creating. This is our idea for global sustainability and healing. And so with all that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team researched, purchased, and downloaded a diversity of new isolated people images to add to the new Earthbag Village renders we've created. The core team also continued updating the Vermiculture Bathrooms page by creating and adding 29 new engineering images to the page. You can see some of these additions here. And the core team continued design updates to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly instructions. The focus this week was rebuilding the Murphy Bed and SketchUp using the newest assembly instructions. In doing so, we identified the swivel and gas pistons placement locations. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 28th week helping with render additions. This week, he created this second generation Earthbag Village render by adding people, plants, and other details. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 28th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week, he selected more render perspectives, integrated the new bolt graphics where appropriate, added a callout section for the hinge on 6612, updated the swivel measurements, and reassigned pieces to have consecutive values and consistent prefixes, labeled all the pieces throughout, and redid the mini parts list on all the pages. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, also continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 136 from Dean. His focus this week was continued development of the section views for the final ADA designs. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, 
time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the SketchUp Duplical City Center updates for the Living Dome. We finished all the windows on the second floor and began working with the first floor windows. You can see some of this work here. The core team also started developing the Duplical City Center sprinkler and emergency systems design page. This week, we finished the table of contents, references, what section, details intro, and classifications section and graphics, some of which you can see here. And the core team working with Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 102nd week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was creating dialux exports of all the lighting layouts and creating a new zonal floor plan cleaned of all the textures so we can start moving the lights over to the master file. You can see some of this work here. Aparna Tandon, architect, also continued with her fourth week helping with the design and evaluation details for applying the well building standards to the Duplical City Center. This week, she researched the Materials and Resources category of LEED version 4, summarized the guidelines for meeting the prerequisites, and explored how they will overlap with the well air feature, enhanced material safety, toxic materials reduction, and mine feature regarding materials transparency. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we wrapped up the research on chicken coops and began working on rabbits. We decided on nine rabbits to begin with and started outlining the implementation details. You can see some of this work in progress here from our behind the scenes Google Doc. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his fourth week helping the marketing team. This week, he researched keywords for mechanical engineering, video designer slash editor slash producer slash videographer, software developer, and general contractor. In addition to this, the core team working with the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Shubra Mittal, software delivery manager, and Ashwarya Singh, computer science engineer, continued developing the software. This week, we moved all our sensitive information to a new location so we could open source our development so far, added those open source details to the website, implemented logging and monitoring for the Highest Good Network middle tier in production and development, and started working on developing the new dashboard in React. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of global sustainability and healing. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to help out, we have a helping page, or if you'd like the easiest way to help out, visit us on all of our social media or your favorite social media platform because we are there. We are on all the big social media platforms. We are on Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, uh, Pinterest, Facebook, of course, uh, Instagram, as well as about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Uh, if you would like to... Uh, 
be on our weekly updates list, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to that. And as I like to always say at the end, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you if you're somebody that shared our information. Thank you for if you're a, subscribe, a subscriber to our YouTube channel. We do appreciate that. That's a great way to show your support. It's very easy. Ring that bell if you like weekly updates and you'd like to manage them that way. Uh, and thank you for watching to the end. And if you're just somebody that's supporting from the distance and just kind of paying attention to what we're doing, or if this is your first time watching a video, one of our updates, thank you for that as well. Every little bit helps. We do appreciate it. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.